<laughs> you sound so good. It is absolutely amazing to see you and to hear you today. I am from Zimbabwe, in a city called Bulawayo. I hope that you get a sense that what Philia is doing is saying thank you to our Second Wave sisters for the work that you have done and the work that you continue to do. You are an utter inspiration and can we please just say thank you. I've been feeling really, really ill. Got here yesterday, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I thought, am I ever going to get through this? Woke up this morning, and lo and behold, I just feel 300% better. And now I feel even better than that. So something's working. It's Philia Medicine. <laughs> and I'm finding the conference very diverse, but really inspiring. And It was amazing to have met and listened to some of the most inspiring, powerful, strong women who through struggles of their own have come out victorious to then inspire other women to reclaim their rights. It's just important for women to come together, to talk, to share their thoughts, to share their problems, their sorrows and their joys. It's Philia. They've been there for us. They're trying to do their level best in advocacy, in financially, in everything. They're trying to have our backs. I am doing this for my young sister, Zanil Kamani. So all the stories that we hear are through community leaders and bits and pieces that come in uh, from the women's groups that are operating in Zimbabwe who unfortunately are muzzled so they too cannot speak out loudly. This is happening in Ireland. It's normalized. Male violence and femicide is normalized. There's no political will to deal with it. And we all know that these perpetrators, they always have previous offenses that are excused, that are dismissed. All of us look forward to seeing you on the 22nd and 23rd of October for the Philia Conference 2022 in Cardiff, Wales. Thank you. Thank you.